Ricky Tome, let me start by greeting all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, be greeted in Jesus' name. You are welcome in the house of the Lord in Jesus' name. I don't believe in 50-50. Let me start there. Can you tell the person that is close to you, I don't believe in 50-50. Yeah, it's about 50-50, Anger. -50. Okay, I don't believe in that. I am very educated, I know my things, but 50-50, I don't believe in it. The Bible says, the husband is the head of the family, and I am the follower. If you are today, receiving a mashonja, receive a mashonja. If you are today, a rejir diang, a reji. And then, if today we are, read those seven. I'm not that much Only tomatoes, rejadi tamati. I get it. But I know I'm the manager of the house. But there is a head. In every company, there is a CEO on top there. So T CEO will delegate it going down, down, down until it reaches us down there. And we do what the CEO have said. Let me start there. You know why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because I want you and me to come to an agreement and understand that we are born again. We cannot live like the people of the world. We are women who are born again. We are not just women. We are women, but we have a son name, born again. So now if we are women and we have a son name that is born again, it means we are not supposed to live like women who don't have son names. As the person that is close to you, what is your son name? My surname is born again. I'm a woman, but I'm gone again. So I'm not just a woman. My other surname will come at the end of the day, Makananisa. But here there is born again, Makananisa. I get it. Okay, let me stop talking because I know if I can talk, I can talk and talk and talk. Let us go to what I want us to speak about today. Hey, this thing is tough. I want us today to go and speak about a woman with purpose. A woman with purpose. We are living in a time where things are changing each and every day. We are living in a time where people no longer understand who they are and what they have to do. More so, we are living in a community where it is said that we have a voice. So I want to talk to you today that yes, we do have a voice, but we are born again. Now, because we are born again, we have to follow what the Bible says. If the Bible says we must humble ourselves, we have to humble ourselves. If I'm voicing out whatever that I'm voicing out, saying whatever that I'm saying, and here in my family they don't understand, I have to agree with what they are saying. Why? Because I have a voice, but I'm under authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I want to start my issue, Dita Bachaka. Mola Ubukaya Genesi chapter 2. Nam Sendoni Revera, yo. Linsuarele Maraker. Kitoli Tsuenya Mara Linsuarele. Let us go to the book of Genesis chapter 2. I'm going to read things that you know things that you are always thinking about or meditating about. We'll read verse 15. From 15, we will jump a little bit and we go to 18. 
And then we go to 21 to 23. Litozi. Kibale. Thank you. So the Lord God took the man he had made and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and keep it. The man was placed in the garden to cultivate and keep it. Then verse 18 says, Now the Lord God said, It is not good, it is not beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who is balances or one who balances him. Can I repeat it? Now the Lord God said, It is not good or not beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable and complementary for him. Let us go to 21. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. And the rib which, he, which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made and in Amplified, it said, he fashioned and he formed that rib into a woman. And he brought her and presented her to the man. Then Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Because she was taken out of men. I can just read also the last. For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Can we pray? Father, thank you for this wonderful word. Teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. We have started by reading. I'm asking for my glasses. I'm even failing to read. We have started by reading where everything started. Creation of everything. The Bible says God created the heaven and earth and everything that is in it. If you can read a little bit on top there, it says, then God created all the animals. And God created everything that is here on earth. And then he presented everything, those animals and those pigs and those dogs and those what what, unto men. After he has created a man. Then when he brought them to the men, he wanted the men to give them names. And then the men started giving them names. This is a dog, this is a pig. This is a goat. This is a sheep. I don't know where this name was where coming from. A kettle. This is a cat. This is a chicken. This is a fowl. This is what? This is what? This is what? Until everything passed and everything was finished. And after that all, remember when God made this man, he wanted this man to take care of the Garden of Eden. To till it to preserve it, to do whatever that he is supposed to do in the garden. And now this Adam was doing everything. Because if you can read right there in that chapter, it says, after God has created all these things, he also commanded Adam and said to him, in other words, it means this man, he walked a road alone. Usinamut. Uliyenaling. Why do I say so? When God then, after he has given this man the authority to take care of the Garden of Eden, he said, 
Adam, you can eat everything that is in this garden. But there is a tree in the middle of the garden. You must not eat the fruits thereof. So Adam went on to till and to do whatever. Maybe in the morning he will wake up. He will go around the, the, the garden. He will do this and do that. Do this and do that. And after that he will come back and sit alone. And then when God was in heaven. The person that I've made there. Eh? That person is lonely. Okay, the taudiona, leopards are there, lions are there, whatever is there, everything is there. But that person that is on earth is lonely. That man is alone and he is lonely. And I've given him everything that he can see and he named everything. But I never hear, heard him saying, this one will be my friend, my partner. In other words, in everything that is there in creation, there was nothing that was going to quench that loneliness that was in the life of Adam. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, God himself again. Can you tell the person that is close to you? God himself. He came down. He allowed Adam to sleep. The mission was he wanted to do somebody again. Mudimu. Ha tola Adam. Bible iri. If you like about Namolo chapter two. Omo whoopi le kali rule la le fazi. Anger. Zano wai mudimu asabu ya gavedi adi ali rule la le fazi. Abu po muwe. Why God God didn't come, take the dust of the earth again, and do the second person? Okay. God would might have come and did the second person. The problem was going to be, this person will have his or her own ideology, her own thinking, her own kind of lifestyle, her own things to do, her own language. Everything will be of her own or his own. Let me say so. Bible, God came down again. When he came down, he said, I want to do a suitable partner for Jerry. I'll give an example by me. Don't mind me. So now, when I make a suitable partner for this man, what is it that I have to do? I have to make this man to sleep. Because the operation that I'm going to do, he must not see it. Then God made Adam to sleep at operation. Now when Adam was asleep, the Bible says God took out a rib from him. And when he took off the rib, he filled the place with flesh. Uraru ucheri mobu, ground again, soil again, and purged that place that was not having anything. And the Bible says, and then he formed a person from the rib that was suitable for him. He formed a person that was suitable for him. Why did God did that kind of a thing? Why? Because God knew that if I can know dia mutromweli omwe, otaba asa swanela, it won't be right or good for Adam. Maybe it might be good for somebody else, but not good for this man. But because the rib was coming out of that man, Adam. God created, if you can read the Bible there, it says he created a partner, a person, a helper, suitable for him. In other words, when you see me like this, Okay, 
I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Say, see, when now we end, see, we go to you. Ufan elum tetra. If you go on a puma, one tetra was shown a gua. So, fefe, that's all gijimis. Why? Because you are not the right rib. So said the Bible. It's not me. Now, it means then, the person who started everything was God himself. First, in the beginning, he created man. And after creating men, he then created a woman who is suitable. Sorry. Ubupile Musadi. Yata honang u comprehenda. Munna. I don't know if you understand me. I'm trying to speak in my language so that you can hear me. God created a woman who will comprehend what this man is. Not who will compete what this man is. Not who will stand in words with this man that God created. If you can read nicely in the Bible, the Bible says, He fashioned. Can I read it again? He said, He fashioned her. He fashioned the person so that he can be a compatible helper to this man. And then I will ask you this question What is it that you are? Are you a compatible helper? Are you helping or are you destroying? Are you coming with the ideas or you are standing on your own? Or you are doing your own things? Okay, let's go forward. Then the Bible says, after creating this creature, Adam knew that something was taken out of him. I don't know how, but he knew. But when this person was brought to him, he looked at the person. The person was having a form like him. But this person was different. And when Adam looked at this person, he adored and loved the person. That is why he said to the person, now this, this I will call bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. And I will give him a name, give her a name. She will be called woman because she was taken out of a man. In other words, we are here today. Number one, we don't have origin, identity. If you don't have that man, you, do, you, are, not, you are not there. You don't exist. You don't have identity. You are here, you are standing today because you were taken out from somewhere. If you were not taken out from somewhere, you were not supposed to be here. Huh? Eh? If you were not taken out of Andrisi Tendo, you were not supposed to be here. Kwale amakana ni se uti le fella is a ne no batila ya uti samara una le manchi twing ting. Liangwishi shanker. So now I'm coming to what I want to say. Children of God, we are women who are born again. Now we know where we are coming from. It means then. We have to be women with a difference. Who honors the one that we have been taken out from? Because if he is not there, you are not there. If he does not exist, you don't exist. And I never heard God after this creating, creating a, a, a if after creating, I never heard God saying unto you, eh, when I, eh, Mrs., you will take care of the garden. I never heard God saying this. It means God knew that Munnau, this man, is going to teach this woman how to take care of the garden that I've given to them. And then why Rana Macha Chiari Tirela Dilo? Ukarri Rutehi. Munnau is going to educate this woman. So that this woman can become what I instructed this man. Everything that has to be done in the garden. 
this man will extract this woman. And then the Bible says it went on and it went on and it went on. You know the story and what has happened. But what I want us to look at today as children of God, can we be honorable women who respect and humble ourselves before our partners? Gospel will never be a gospel if we don't have respect, humility. If we don't come down, we don't go down as women. If we don't respect whatever that is said. Now, this is what, what's happening these days. When we are women, when we are born again, number one, if you want your house to stand, humble yourself. Number two, if you want your humble to your house to stand, stop talking too much. Even if you know the answer, don't speak the answer until he speaks the answer. If you find out that he is not coming with the answer, tell him as an advice, I was thinking this one will be right. Number three, if you want your house to stand, you must take care of your house and your husband. I'm not speaking about children. We don't have children here. It's still me and him. Take care. I'll try to explain why I say take care. These days, there are these things of take a farm, take away. And because we have things to buy, we are always running to McDonald's, DS, and you name it, and you name it, and you name it. There are so many. I don't even know others. But let me tell you, there's a saying in English that says, a way to a man's heart is through what? So now why are you not doing it? Let me tell you what I do. I've got my daughter who cooks for me and does this. But one day, if I want to do my thing, you can ask her, I will wake up early in the morning. Cut your rice or wusaka speedy. Early, early in the morning. And I will cook everything and do everything when they come, everything is set, I've cooked, I've done everything, I understand. She's trying to help me as a mother. But I'll do everything. And when she comes, say, Mama, what are that? I said, no, I've cooked, I've also cooked for you. Mara, Mama, why do you do this kind of thing? I want a way to the heart of my husband. I must cook. Huh? Why? I'm a helper. A suitable one for that matter. A helper that takes care of everything. This is what I do. I will tell you. When I wake up in the morning, ma, mamrut, kincha sudu kabe mola, kanya kadiya parocha uchana liyona. Hadisiyo, I will have to change it and take another one until I find something suitable. Chawo retar hari apiri. You can also do your own. I get it. Why do I do that? I don't want to be recognized. I want him to be happy. Now, if you can look at the life that we are living today, we are too much in ourselves than in our partners. Kantimara Mereko, the job that God has given us from the beginning, it says we are supposed to be compatible helpers to our partners. Compatible helpers, communions, friends to our husbands. It means now when God says these people must be helpers, there is some way where there is a problem. I will tell you the problem. If you want to see, or today, Muruti in church, you will see what you will be coming wearing in the church. This is what I do. I went to Dubai not so long last year. Was it last year or this year? 
this year. My daughter was laughing. This is what I did. I took off clothes for Monday. I put them here. For Tuesday, I put them here. Wednesday, I put them here. Thursday, here. Friday, here. Saturday, here. I knew on Sunday I'll be here. And I went with him. I showed him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I said, okay, I'll wear them. I said, I'll be watching you. You know why? I want him to look presentable even though I'm not there. Because I know who na libu foko di kai kai mutuaga abe kabe tadi etache di kibitu abe chali hempe green libu rukubo bu brown. Yangu si shangere zana ngu chacha bar na bana bavo mashibu. We do not understand what go why God allowed us to be wives to be women. We understand that God allowed us to be married. For that other part that I don't want to mention. No, 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 no. Una libu foko di kai kai. Ritsuncho bulukisa. And then if we can be able to fix this problem, you will see life will go on very well. You wake up in the morning, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. And when you are standing there, you will feel comfortable. When I was wearing my outfit today, my husband said to me, where did you take that two piece? I never saw it. I said, there are some others that I put them aside. My helper knows in the house. I don't wear them with daddy because I don't have a matching suit that will suit with what you'll be wearing. So, I don't know if I can get it. Why do I do that? I don't want to look superior than my partner. I don't want to look good better than my partner. Don't worry, I'm not a chia, but I'm a dim. That is who no one will have a label in a little Brazilian. Little little chili makeup, putting on makeup, being beautiful. But when we compare you when you are seated close to each other, it's like you are 20 years old and he's 60 years old. This is what's happening these days. And now when these things happen, I do ask myself this question, is this a compatible partner to this man? Why? Because we have to be compatible to our partners. We must help them where they cannot do anything. Eve was called to come and help Adam in the garden of Eden. So that the life of this man can have a meaning. Are you understanding me? If you are educated too much, you have been educated too much to compensate the uneducated husband that you have. If you are earning 100,000 per month, it is your opportunity as the wife, the woman of this house to compensate this whatever husband of yours so that he can come to your level. In other words, I'm saying, for us to stand in our families, we must lift the family that God has given us to come to our stand. Why? So that people can understand salvation. People are no longer understanding salvation but my why because we are failing. There are men that have sworn that they will never be born again. Why? Because I'm not lying. I know I'm telling the truth. Somebody will just make herself and say, I want to pray, want to pray. And I will ask you, what is it that you're praying for? You are praying for heaven to come down. You have a job to do. What do you have to do? You can stop fasting and stop praying. 
take care of your family. You will see what God will do for you. I'm not saying you must not pray. I'm saying the best part of it is to take care of the family that God has given to you so that God can lift you up. So that God can bless you. Where we have written, where we have read, Eve does not have explanation. Have you read it? She was never explained. She was never told. She was never, she was never given an identity. It is this man that gave an identity to this woman. And this woman is the one who took this man again out of the way. And the man, this one, is the one who gave like an identity to this poor lady. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you don't have identity. That is why you want to ring your Lord. Richen chadi faneri ita kamore wiela hai arna identity. Kibolela niti. Ngiri Bible it says it has been that rib that small 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 thing. It was fashioned. It was the alibana nagli is dude like amo kiswane chia pastor. Le na le lumu sesa niko na mukowe li swane chia was kovel. So that God saw. This was my revelation. God saw. Orichalis was never ever going to stand. If there was no fat lady like me to stand there and shout and scream. That is why you see today standing because a fat lady is there. And God created a fat lady like me. So that I can be able to stand there and shout and scream to you. So that you can understand who you are. If it was not so, Charis was supposed to have died a long time ago. It was never supposed to be, as I'm speaking. But because I said, Truck, but well, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to It does not change. So now, Lena, when you hear just somebody saying something stupid about you because you don't know your origin, you go direct to the same person and you say you are going to settle matters. For what? Why don't you leave it to God? And you allow God to settle it for you. This is the job of a woman. A woman that comes from God does not talk too much. Praise too much. Meditate on the word too much. If they don't hear you, don't strive to make them hear you. If they don't understand you, don't fight to make them understand you. Be who you are as God has ordained you to be what you are. And when you stand there to be what you are, I'm telling you, you are going to prosper. You don't need anyone to understand you. Can you tell the person that is close to you? You don't need anyone to understand you. You don't need anyone to know everything about you. What you have to do is to stay as a woman of God who knows and understands what God has placed in her life so that you can be able to conquer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe I've done a good introduction, isn't it? Hallelujah. Are you still here? Now let's go to the Bible again. I think I've explained enough. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse eight and nine. Ma Corintha Bapil Chapter eleven. Let's go there. Can you
And you tell the person that is to you, you are so beautiful. That you are beautiful for your husband. For me, you are so ugly. Eh? Get For now, we feel of Peter in Trileo. But you have been formed according to the plan of God for your own family. That's why I said I want also sisters to come. I'm just saying they're not there. I wanted them to know that you are not the one to search for a right partner. You are supposed to be searched. Because you have been created from somebody. So that somebody must go around searching for his rib until he finds it. Have you found it? Can we read? Mm. For men does not originate from women. But woman from men. For indeed man was not created for the sake yeah, of the woman. But woman for the sake of men. Therefore, the woman ought to have a sign of authority on her head. I know it was speaking about covering. For the sake of the angels, so as not to offend them. I know here it's speaking about the covering on top of your head. But what I wanted us to look more and more into is a man was not created for you. You were created for a man. In other words, you exist because there is somebody out there who is existing for your sake. You are here. Why? Because there is somebody out there who is there for you. So that you can then be what God wants you to be. In other words, we are not complete. Tell the person that is close to you, you are not complete. We are short. We are not complete. We are short. 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 We short. We are short. So now to be completed, there is something that he has to find us. Somebody must find us so that we can then be complete. Children of God. I believe I ex explained enough so that you can understand why I wanted us to start this way. I wanted us to understand first that we are because they are. We are standing because they are standing. We are talking because they are talking. We are going forward because they are there to lead us to go forward. If it was not so, we were not supposed to be here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you must be a suitable helper. You must be a compatible helper. You must be a compatible helper. There is no woman who has been done for anybody. A woman is done for somebody. Mara, we must know where we are coming from and where we are going. And I believe God will help us. Now and then let's come to the deeper things. Let us go to the book of Proverbs chapter 30. And we read verse 31. Are we together? Do you understand what I'm trying to explain? In other words, if there were sisters here, I was going to tell them 
Sorry, sisters, don't worry, you don't have a head. Alina Tho, wait until Utola Tho, so that you can then be able to be what you're supposed to be. In other words, this is what I'm saying. If you don't have your partner, it means you don't have a head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask the person that is close to you, where is your head? Arikai? Eh? Atsibi? Kaniti? Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we ready to hear what the Lord wants to tell us today? I think I made a, somewhere, a mistake somewhere there when I was writing. But what I want to talk about is, the Bible says, beauty is in vain. Bubuzi. Buyafita. Can you tell the person that is close to you? Bubuzi, we are fita. Let me read here. It says, charm and grace are deceptive. They are vain beauty. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Can I repeat it? I know I've missed when I was writing. I must have missed it somewhere. Charm and grace are deceptive for their vain beauty. But a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. And as I was reading the Bible, this is what I got. When you are praised, you are praised not because there are things that are good that you are doing. Hallelujah. Oh, Bible are great, Jimmy. There are good things that are good that you are doing. Or wonderful things that you are doing. But here the Bible says, when you are said that you are being praised, you are praised because you act reverently. You are praised because you worship. You are praised because you obey. We are to. You are praised because you are serving. We are shuma. You are praised because you are trusting. We are water. We are tepa. You are praised because you are filled with respect. Can I repeat them? You are praised because you act reverently. Because you worship. Because you obey. Because you serve. Because you are trusting. Because you respect. This is all, everything that is supposed to be found in the life of somebody who is called a child of God. A woman that is led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you led by the Spirit of God? Is the Spirit of God directing you? Are you being taken to where God wants you to be? Hallelujah. As again, are you taken to where God wants you to be? When we are led by the Spirit of God, the Bible is saying, charm and beauty, these are things that are in vain. But 
ya ta retwang ke mosadi moshia morena ke mosadi ya boifa morena it's a woman that adores it's a woman that worship it's a woman that wants to follow god that wants to hear god and the bible said she shall be praised for her good deeds she shall be praised for her good works she shall be praised for everything wonderful that she is doing and in everything wonderful that the person is doing respect is not left obedience is not left serving is not left worshiping is not left even reverence is not left in other words we are supposed to be women that reverence that worship that obey that respect that adores that serves so that god can be visible in our lifetime the works of god are not visible do you know why because we don't fear god we are not following god we are not doing what god wants us to do hallelujah hallelujah can you ask the person that is close to you are you doing what god wants you to do are you following his ways are you doing as he has said are you going about doing things according to his will hallelujah apo ka re le tshwere boroko can you ask the person that is close to you are you here i will read my book that's not a problem i don't know this is what we are supposed to do as women we are supposed to have respect can you ask the person that is close to you do you respect your household do you are you lele ape e o ba awa As again do you respect your household do you serve them do you obey your head when i say your head i mean your husband do you hmm abe wa ngwe na ke le bon Do you trust? Do you trust everything that is happening? That has been started and that is happening in your household, in your family. Ona lo uithoba na. Do you reverence? Do you worship? Here ke le ro teng bana ba bomba. Tabashi all that i've read i've spoken with you right now they need ma me mushia more wa u tshaba mutim if you are not afraid of god these things that we are talking about will be very much difficult for you to execute them we must remember we are living on earth and get here on earth there are a lot of challenges there are a lot of things that are happening so now if you want to be a woman that conquers a woman that knows what she is doing you will start by fearing the one who created you and when now you fear the god that has created you all these things that i've spoken about will be very very simple for you to do eh it will be very much simple for you to go down ke a botjisha sorry ngombotse ke leng la mafelo is le wa isetsa papa metse a o thapa matso i think it was a blood mary so ask is how mara we i told i don't know <laughs> she does not know eh le 
ndile ari ke mufafai duku ya uthapa aphumla ma asinna ke yena ligwi langer okay now i'm not saying this so that we can condemn each other ngere we are learning you know when we are women when we are in our house we must act with respect we must act with reverence uh-uh. we must worship these people that made us to be wives when did you last to worship your husband i'm not saying he's taking the place of god like worship like you know what i'm talking about when you are a woman who fears and knows the lord the lord will guide each and every step of whatever that you do so that whatever that you're doing kau fela dilo je di diang everything gives honor to god not to people when you're doing everything that you're doing the honor goes all to god not to him that is why when people come to me and tell me mama i have this problem my partner i will say to that person i'm giving you two weeks go and do one two three come and tell me what's happening and most of the time if i can say so when the person will come back will say to me hey i mean there is a different in my house you know why because most of the problems that are there they are caused by us because we are not doing our duties naka ore ke na le muthushi ko ntong yaka ke yena ke mmotshisha eh mas mang mang hempe yele ya apostolo ya pink u ibe ile kai am i telling the truth ne ke be ile di eta tsa apostolo tsa di brown ko kai kai le di be ile kai mawe In other words it means here in the house we are two wives my helper and me the helper of apostle Are you getting my story Now when we are women in our houses can we do our duties as wives of the house I try to do my best even though I've got helpers in the house but I want to do things on my own even if i know i'm tired of doing 1 to 3 but i want to try to do the best that i can why so that that love that was planted in eden must not run away from me ona le rato le le hlomilweng go eden batho ba ba no ba le lona le ge o be file ba no re botse le angwishisha ngere leo sa dia jona ne ba no rudile jona ke le ratola ko eden le be ilwe ke morena it has been planted by god himself even though things are bad and they are seeing you are trying but it's bad they will say but you are trying well done so now for you to maintain i'm speaking to those who are crying and saying you know in my house things are not going well mama says can you go down and do things that you have never done before and see whether there won't be a change in your situation hallelujah hallelujah somebody told me and said somebody said ah ah vale banya ko worship you e re ya worship banna ngere le re bona rena re dula re mika mauto ha re fita ha re thobola di eta ra masa ja mauto i have to Mama rutile ngile la massage ama utwa muruti na ke a massage You can ask my daughter she will tell you When we reach home mutwa ka utula fase ati salutu ka massage ama utu That's why libona afa ka mogwao Wa se bora a ka takale na aka le ka se mo massage Ya no ndilo le taba di senyeile I'm just I just wanted you to laugh Agerle antwa There are some supernatural things that you have to do 
to bring joy into your own house. Your house is not the same as mine. I know how my house look. And I know if I can do this, my things will go well. I'm not saying things that are in the other world. I'm saying normal things. You do normal things that will make you and your partner to be together forever. If one day you can reach your husband, why am I doing this? I'm trying to build my house so that I don't lose it. Now, these people, we people of today, we think building the house is money. We think building the house is talking. We think building the house is those things of the other way. What if tomorrow he does not have legs and he cannot do anything anymore? Have you ever asked yourself that question? If nothing will not happen anymore, what are you going to do? You'll go home. No, I will never go home. I will never go home. I still remember sometimes back things were happening with bed, 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 bed. And my husband said to me, my wife, go home. When things are right, I'll call you and you'll come back. I said, when I come back, what is it that I'll be coming to do? I can only enjoy the wealth that I never saw where it's coming from. I want to see everything for myself. So now, if I know I am the one who can talk better about this person and, 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 and lift his spirit up because I know him, I know where he falls. I know where he cannot do things. I know where he cannot stand up. Then I'll be the helper to make him stand and encourage him. Yesterday when I reached home, I said to him, I call him Mutuak. Ah, Mutuak, ah, today no debate. Mara no bule la kudu. How did it have a chill on the talk guy? I can say, Mutomo kureki birthday. Maybe it's the best the birthday, I don't know. I just find myself talking too much. Ah, Papa, we are high. Can say, but you know, when she little lady said, "How about we are high, Mutuak?" I fit the baby shirt. Let me regulate you. But I want to see. Ali alaba. I want to la pile. Kopela le julis tulo gata. I want to die Sevela. <laughs> Hafe <laughs> You must be wise. If there is a challenge that he met outside there, when he comes back, he will tell you. King They must respect and worshiping that is coming from us. I'm I won't lie to you. You must worship your husband. Before he worships you, you must start worshiping him. Because you are, because he is. If he was not there, you were not supposed to be here. Uh, hallelujah. Do you get what I'm saying? Then how fetch you live fetch you some ayamola? You can ask my daughter, she will tell you. Nah, I can not dress out the mouth. You better mock off it. Chaka, you're not going to 
Karol la pile. Hawa ke nya kam tshoka magnyo go tlo di mo sofa pile. Okay. Why mara na asu no zula zolo safe? Au wa ona le ntoke e lokisi. Gore di eta tsela di kaina. Les ka fitwa ka batho ba le fase. Wa o ka re bala Bible too much. Na ke a ibala. E be le ke a rapela. Le go fasta ke a fasta. Mara re ke le botse sa ka spiring ka se le fitela. Na ke fasta to wa ka 6 mara 6 o'clock tapama ke a 12. Unless otherwise we sit down and we talk. I want to do one, two, three. Do you allow me? And he says, yes, then I will do it. But if it's of my own, I say I'm praying for this. I cannot tell him. I'll start six o'clock in the morning until six, six o'clock late. And then we cook and we eat and we go forward. And I start six o'clock again tomorrow. And six o'clock I end already the day. Am I lying? I start six o'clock again the other day, and I come and end here. I start again four days, and I've already done two days. I start again, and I, start, I always say, oh, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. I'm telling you, God will never run away from you. Why? Because you are respecting your head. If you want your things to work from today, I'm giving you a tip, a good one for that matter. Respect your husband. Worship him. Not meaning that you want to worship him. You will, but worship him. Respect him. Hey, <laughs> I have a style that I usually do here in the church. If you talk too much, you will ask my children, they will tell you, go over time long. I go over time long. I go over time long. I go over time long. These people that we are living in with, they don't want commentators in their houses. Eh? Do you know what a commentator is? Oh, la re tang bo la rai rai. Ai tswara, ai twela, ai fa mang mang, ya buya. O ka re ba ya ba ma pale, ah i tshikile. Ya taba ya le mang mang. Eh, ya buya. Okay, let's go on. I want us to finish. I don't want us to take much time. I don't think if this my thing will work again. Let us go to Titus. We go to Titus chapter 2. Revealing verse 3. Reafecha is Khan. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Let me read this one. Older women similarly are too reverent in their behavior are to be reverent in their own behavior and to be reverent means not malicious gossips nor addicted to much wine teaching what is right and good so that they may encourage the young women to tenderly love their husbands and their children to be sensible, to be pure, makers of a home where God is honored, good-natured, being subject to their husbands so that the word of God will not be dishonored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear what the Bible says? The Bible says we must love our husbands. We must be subjects 
of them. As we are ladies, as we are women, we must be people that set a standard and an example in lifestyle. How do we do that? By respecting and honoring our partners. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you honor your partner? What is it that you are doing to show that you are honoring him? Ask again. What is it that you are doing to show that you are honoring him? What is it that you are doing to show that you are honoring Hmm? Okay. Read well. The Bible says the elderly women will teach the young women to love their children and their husband, to be sensible, pure, makers of home. Hmm. How is your home? Ask the person that is close to you, how is your home? Baba, when my higher Renata Katakani, our homes are mixed up. Our fitter, our Satsibur, one Akiman, Makiman, Sisina Akiman, Butikiman. We are son of our fellow, we are all the same. So the Bible is commanding us as women. We must be makers of our homes. How to laka hayo takatakan? When we are hobi abkan. Remember, I'm still coming there. When you are a mother in a house, you are the manager of that house. To see that you are failing, we will see by the mismanagement of your house. Not mismanagement of the building, mismanagement of the things that are happening in your house. There are things that won't be going the right way. There are things that will be going the wrong way. Why? Because you are not taking your role as the one who is to manage and to take order to be in that same house. We must be home builders. Can you ask the person that is to is your house a home? Una lento. Una le high. There is a house, there is a home. Ko high. Le re di jodi se gona go monate. Le etse di botse di se gona go monate ka re king, we need people to come and stay in that house so that the house can be a home. So now the people that have to make a home is us. There is this thing that they call in English, they say it's bachelor's flat. Have you ever gone to a bachelor's house? That's why you have orange. How do you see orange ki green? How do you see green ki color yung wa sheets and imachachia? Very military. I was laughing with the youth one day. I said, How about para? What para sutri hai woods yung channel ya blue? A para masuki se are red and yellow. Abo fata yung we ya phone. There is mismanagement. Now, when you are there, because you are a homemaker, you make the home to be a home. Things to go the right way. Things to be the way they are supposed to be. When we enter your home, we will feel the warmth of your presence even though we didn't see you. Why? Because already you have made your house to be a home. 
Now, many of our houses are not homes because in them there is a lot of mismanagement. Things are not going the right way. You are neglecting the, neg neglecting the responsibility that God has given to you. Says away, O Miniger. How fit a kakwaleki when I manage? Mara, how na le manager, there is CEO. Anger? How na le CEO, so manager? Ha, dira dilo, utamaya wujeng? CEO ya diyeng, yes, ya dia signature, ya approve. Ha, CEO ya approve le, na pileke ya kiti, makiodir. Most of us, we don't do that. I see something, I go and buy. I see this, I go and get it. I want this, I do it. That is why in our houses there is mismanagement. If you can do it the way I do, you sit down, you explain to the CEO, there is this, 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 this that I saw. Do you love it? Do you want it? And he said, no, I don't think we can afford I said, no, already I've placed some funds aside to make it possible. Can I do it? And the CEO will do, say what? Go and do it. And then I'll run. Go and do whatever that I wanted to do. And I bring it back. And then when I bring it back, I say, this is the thing that I was talking about. Is it good? And he will say, yes, it's good. So what is it that you want to do with it? I want to place it there. I want to do this. I want to do that. In other words, your plans are not executed without the knowledge of the owner. You execute your plans whilst the owner is knowing. You do your things whilst the owner is knowing. It is not stupidity, I have to tell you. It is wisdom. When you are doing these little, little, little things in your home, big things to do them is so easy. I'll give you an, an example by me. When I started working, we were staying somewhere up there. And I'm moving in Mandel. So, in my workplace, there were people who were always insulting me because they know that my husband was not working. I was ridiculed, cursed. Everything was said about me. I was having this lady. Her name is Puselezo. I met her not so long age. I at the north. So she will say to me, Sitaela say, So very kelamunna, na no munna urobe ichi kwa hai. Wena wea ema ema mo. Ukarul latil. And I will just laugh. I won't answer. After working and working and working, I was promoted to the other side. I left them where they were and I went somewhere else. When I went there to work where I was working, I was working, I was the only lady and I was working with men. And God Ganti was rescuing me because those men, they knew nothing about me and they wouldn't say anything. I was just doing my job. They only called me May 2nd. They didn't know I knew Africans. But I wouldn't answer even though it was like that. I worked and I worked and I worked. As I was working, one day, they were talking, these men, about their wives. And how stupid they were. You know, I give the person money, they just took money. Go and play with money and go and do this, go and do that, go and do this. And I looked at them. That if ever their wives can know what I know, they will not do what they are doing. But it's not a problem. After being promoted to the next level, money was coming in now. Things were started with, starting to change. I spoke to my brother, Prophet Kurumbi. I said, I want a car. So I don't know anything about cars. That was then. And he said, no, there is this Toyota. I, I don't want Toyota. Uh, there is, I, I don't want that one. And he said to me, what kind of a car do you want then? 
I said, I want a BMW. And he looked at me. He said, eh? BM, eh, BMW. And if you can help me, I want a 320i. I've never been to the garage. My manager was having it. He said, okay, I'll search for it for you. I didn't know this thing of uh, Google, what, 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 what. I didn't know. And he searched the car for me. He found it. He showed me a picture. I said, we must go and fill the form. I want this car. And I bought it. We were still staying in the shack up there. Things were tough. But things changed because of the will of God. I was able to buy that car. And we came back with it. And I packed it there. At my workplace, I used to go to work 6 o'clock a.m. I have to go out of the house at about 5 in the morning for me to catch taxis. I was doing that always. So now when the car came, my husband was relieved and said, hey, at least she will drive the car. Pella, by then, I was not even having license. It was a thing of being able to talk. You are one of the women. I didn't even have a license. So we came back. He said to me, hey, at least it will be better. You'll go to work with a car. I said, no, this is not my car. This is your car. I will never drive it. You must drive it. <laughs> After that, I said, you know what? I'm tired of staying in a shack. We have to find a house somewhere. I am working, you understand me? Basically, there, it was starting. I went there. I found a stand. I bought a stand in a house. They built it for me. I believe I was the third person to stay in Bechley for the first time. Bechley was not there by then. I bought a house. When I bought the house, I said, owner, J.B. Makananis. Co-owner, Chirizi Yunis Makananis. And he went to sign for it. He said it one day here. They said, we don't understand. I said, no, you won't understand. Just do as I have written. I will pay, but he's the owner. After that, things went on and on and on. We moved from place to place until I resigned. We started doing the work of God together. But this is what I want to tell you, woman, my sisters. Be wise. That seed that I've planted in 2005, it's never dying. It's still here today. That's all. When I look at it, I found it is that small, small seed that I planted a long time ago. It is still working for me. Now, these things, Vanava Papa, only happens when you submit yourself. Allow them to laugh at you. Allow them to ridicule you. Allow them to speak whatever they speak. But what I'm telling you is today, you are stealing the heart of that one you are supposed to serve. And when you serve him right, he will never forget you. Never. Why? Because I planted the right seed at the right time. And when everything is there, Banabam Mudim, don't ridicule the person you are living in with because you have money. 30,000 asisi lo palabu pilo. 50,000 asisi lo palabu pilo. Bu pilo bu tokwa. Because tomorrow that 50,000 you'll go away but life will still be there. So you must make sure that you plant the right seed so that whenever things are bad you'll be able to go forward. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. When you have your salaries, you are on top of the moon. Even if Papa has a little seal of Kabonton, I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a 
So now why don't you just humble yourself and my husband? This is the money. What is it that you want us to do? I was thinking we must buy this. No, I was thinking if we can buy a bed, our bed is no longer good. It will be fine. And he will say yes. So now, this is what I see. After all these things, we are going back to the Bible. Children of God, I'm begging you. Humble yourself. God will lift you up. Be down to earth. Allow everyone to do whatever he, she is doing. But at the right time, God will take you where you never thought. Remember, I said in the beginning, you are a manager of your house. When there is mismanagement, it, beast, it means you are not doing your job. That's why things are mixed up in your house. But if you are doing your job, things will go right. Things will go the right way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you going to change? This is what I told, tell myself. I defy protocols. I defy rules. I defy man-made rules. I go with my own rules. I do what God says. And by doing that, I see God taking me from level to level, from power to power, from glory to glory. But as somebody in your house, you must be able to plant the right seed in the right time. Whenever that person is unable, you must be a right helper. The person will never forget you. This is a good seed that you plant at the beginning. Now, if you are a wife, more will they alive too much? Mm? My mother used to say to me, why don't you keep quiet? You talk too much. And I'll keep quiet. After some few minutes, she will say to me, now what is it that has happened to you because you kept quiet? Nothing. Now because I'll be talking too much, talking too much, I used to love to fight a long time ago. I will fight. But if I can keep quiet, there won't be any fight. So I started learning, I must keep quiet. And when you are quiet, God answers for you. When you are quiet, God does things for you. When you are quiet, you don't suffer to get things. When you are quiet, you don't suffer to reach where you are going. When you are quiet, your destiny is assured. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, why do you talk too much? We must repent today. Are we ready to repent? Let us finish. I think I've explained it too much. Oh, Jesus. I just want now to conclude by speaking a few examples in the Bible. In Titus chapter 2, verse 3 to 5, we no, it's the one we have read. In Acts chapter 9, verse 36 to 40, it speaks about a woman called Tavita, a woman called Dorcas. There is a lady who was called Dorcas. The Bible said she was sick, and Peter went to the place. She didn't go to their place. She, he went to another place. But when, but when they heard that there was Peter who healed a person, they went to call him to come and pray for Dorcas, for Tavita. Why? Because she was having good works. Good works that affect her community. Good works that affect the place she was staying in. Good works that affect the people she was living with. They could see beautiful things in her. 
and they could get beautiful things from her. That is why they cried so that she can be prayed for and so that she can get healed. It's an opportunity. It's a great opportunity. According to statistics, they say men are fewer than ladies. But for you to be found in the Moliko family, it's an opportunity. For you to be found in Makanisa family, it's an opportunity. Because somebody out there is searching for that same opportunity that you have. But here are you today. You are misusing the opportunity that God has given unto you. Do you know that to be married is an opportunity? Huh? Do you know that? Uh, okay, let me give you an example by myself. I am from Flayford and very far from where my husband comes from. Very far. For me and him to meet is God's grace. So now I have met him. It's an opportunity. How do I act? When they hear that Mama Karen is dead, will they cry so that somebody can pray for me and then I rise again? Or are they going to say, Hey, Rikuriche? Why? Because each and every day you are living a life of showing other people the kind of life that you are living. When you are a person that gives and makes everybody to be happy with you always, you are pleasing God, not pleasing people. Now, I will ask you, what is it that you are doing as a woman of God that will make people to realize and recognize that you are serving a big God. It's to insult them. It's to tell them where to get off. It's to tell them everything about them. The Bible says, Tabitha was always giving unto his community. And now when she was sick, Everybody wanted her to be prayed for. Why? Because they wanted those good things she usually gave to them. They wanted her to go on. They wanted her to do more. God has placed us where we are today. Why? Because he wants us to affect the lives of people that are close to us. The people that are close to us are supposed to see God in us when we live according to the word of God. We must be women that are fearing God. We must be women that fear the word of God. We must be women that goes and walks according to the word of God. We must be women that do things according to the word of God. We must be women that always worship God. We must be women that always reverence God. We must be women that are always being directed by God himself. Come what may along the road, I will never leave my God. Why? Because he has saved me. Whatever can happen along my life, but I won't leave God. Why? Because God has made me to be a woman that I am today. What I do each and every day, I love God. I respect God. I worship him. I reverence him. I respect him. He is my God and he will remain my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, what is it that you're doing that is good in the eyes of God? Showing that you are saving your community. A smile can change the life of many. Just your smile can change the life of many. Just how are you can change the life of many. Are you fine can change the life of many. Are you good? Can change the life of many. Remember, God has anointed the words of our mouth. And when we can start living in the right way, our community will be changed. Hallelujah. 
okay then let us speak about truth in ruth chapter 1 and chapter 2 but we will just speak about it ruth was married the bible says she was loyal to her mother in law very loyal in verse 14 chapter 1 when the husband died and passed away she went on to go to the land of her mother in law even though there was no husband with her she was determined to go wherever the mother in law was going to do whatever that the mother in law was supposed to tell her to do she was going to do it why because she said in the bible now me your god will be my god your people will be my people wherever you stay i will stay whatever you eat i will eat whatever you drink i will drink if they ridicule you i will be there to be with you if they don't stand with you i will be there to stand with you there was loyalty in her Ruth was a lady of loyalty. And now if you can read and study what happened to Ruth, the Bible says, because now the husband was gone already. The mother-in-law sent the head to work with the people that were working for one of his relatives, her relatives. The name was Boaz. And then she ended up being married there. Why? because she was loyal children of god let us have loyalty what is it that we are learning from the people that have walked before us people that we find in the word of god the only thing that we know to do about these days in everyday life is to speak and speak and follow the what the word is doing we don't have to follow the world let us follow the word hallelujah I am finishing let us finish by reading in the book of proverbs chapter 12 verse 4 The Bible says a vicious wife is a crown to her husband Musadi wa buthu ke mo fa patlhoma mo lekaneng wa hai All the things that we do they go back to the same point and i will ask a questions what is it that we are doing to maintain the gospel of christ through our lifestyle the lifestyles that we are having are not showing that we are people that reverence and fear god the lifestyle that we are living are not showing that we are people that are loyal to the word and want to do what god says we must do in his word hallelujah hallelujah Can you ask the person that is close to you what kind of a woman are you? Let's speak about Lady Esther. I called her Lady Esther. Esther prayed and prayed for the children of Israel not to be killed. But she was secure. she was safe in the house of the king but though she was in the house of the king she prayed for her own people she prayed for the nation she prayed for people who were outside so that they can know so that they can be secured so that they cannot be killed and it was granted to her If you can read in the book of Esther the Bible says chapter 4 verse 13 and 14 Esther even told his maids to fast with her and when she was going to the king to see the king she spoke some words and she said if i die let me die but at least i would have tried o fitisha o rekino dula I sit down I don't do anything about what Haman has said. 
In other words, it means as Christians, as women, there is a lot that we can do to save our people and save our nation. There are things that we can do that can make people to realize and recognize that God is at work in our lives. God wants to do something in our lives. Hallelujah. I am finishing right now. There is something that I love that I want to us to speak about in the end. It's found in the book of First Peter. Can we read it? I don't think this thing of mine will be crazy again. Chapter three, verse six. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you? Are you learning anything? I believe I'm not speaking spiritual things. I'm, I'm speaking things that we can hear, isn't it? Can I read it for you? It says, just as Sarah obeyed Abraham, following him and having regard for him as a head of their house, calling him Lord, and you have become her daughters, if you do what is right without being frightened by any fear, that is being respectful towards your husband, but not giving in into intimidation, nor allowing yourselves to be led into sin, nor to be harmed. Can I repeat it? Just as Sarah obeyed Abraham, following him and having regard for him as head of their house, calling him Lord, and you have become her daughter, if you do what is right without being frightened by any fear, that is being respectful towards your husband, but not giving in to intimidation, nor allowing yourselves to be led into sin, nor to be harmed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, we are children of Sarah. And what is it that we are doing? What is it that we are doing that can change the people that we are with? I just want to speak a little bit about Sarah and we close. <coughs> Sorry. Let me ask you this question. Do you think if you were in Sarah's shoes, you were going to act the way that she acted? You were going to do things the way that she was doing things? You were going to follow the way she was following? If you were in his shoes, listen to this. This lady was barren for many years, not even children. But when God comes to speak, God does not speak with the head. He speaks with the husband. Hmm? And he said, Abraham, come out. Your children will be like the stars. Your children will be like sand. There will be very many. Abraham will say, but Lord, I am childless. I cannot want. But the promises of God just stood the way they were. But look at this woman, Sarah. Even though she was going, being barren, being childless, she still believed in what the husband was telling her. That your children will be like what? Stars and sand. 
And I love what the Bible says about her. It says, and she called her husband Lord. Things were not good. There is an instance where Sarah even took her maid to become the wife of the husband. Why? Because she was thinking this promise is not coming to pass. It will never come to pass. And then Abraham did whatever he did because the wife said what? Take my servant. Okay. But after some time, even though things were not going the right way, even though children were not coming, this man was not leaving his wife. Because God gave this man a promise. And he said, God said to him, through your wife, Sarah, not through your maid, not through your servant, not through anybody, but through your wife, you'll be a father of nations. Now, though he had those words from God, when he comes to relate these words to his wife, the wife just believed and say, Lord, I've heard you. Things are not going my way, but I believe it will happen. We don't have children, eh, but I believe one day it will happen. We are going from place to place. We don't have anything. We have been promised that things are going to be better one day. But for now, things are not going the right way. Yes, Lord. Sarah called her husband, Lord. I sat down and thought about it one day. And I said, I believe this woman called her husband, Lord, because I believe, she believed that this husband is hearing from God. And this husband was so calm in everything that he was told. He believed that what God has told him, it will come to pass. It was Madame who was shaking. But the man knows that this thing was going to happen. But though it was like that, he called his husband, Lord. The Bible says he respected. The Bible said he obeyed. You know what's to obey? You don't have anything to say. Whatever that you have said, it's fine. Look in. I don't have anything to say. The Bible says she respected Abraham. Though nothing was happening, she respected him. And then she called him Lord. To all those who've got partners, I want to ask, how do you call your partner? Yahujish, I'm asking. When you ask the person that is close to you, how do you call your your How do you call your partner? One day my daughter came laughing at me, she said. He's this little boy, he's one year and some few months. So my daughter said, I said to my husband, baby, and my son was hearing it. Baby! Sorry, I'm a little bit of 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 a Eh? How do you call your husband? I call him my love. My love. My love. Eh? 
Ukwezisa uyu. Oh, zoto raro. I call him Dali or Love. It depends. Oh, it depends. I'm finishing what I'm telling you. It's up to you to make your house a happy home. It's up to you to make your house a place of cries and sorrows. It's up to you to make your house a place of joy. It's up to you to make your house a place of peace. It's up to you to make a house, your house, a place where children will love to stay. It's up to you to make your house a place where everyone wants to come and stay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, what kind of a house do you have? Proverbs 14, 1 says, A wise woman builds her own house on a foundation of godly concepts and the household thrives. But a foolish one who lacks spiritual insight tears it down with her own hands by ignoring godly principles. That's Proverbs 14.1. You build your own house by godly concepts. Milao, Yamudim. Wali Sidu Watuba. Kausi Latele Milao, Yamudim. The concepts and the laws of God says we were not made, they were not made for us, so we were made for them. They are our heads, we have to follow them. We must hold our families the way we are supposed to. We must build our own homes. We must build our place of inhabitation. We must make our house to be filled with joy. We must make our house to be filled with laughter. In other words, a woman is a creator. A woman is a manager. A woman is a designer. A woman is a person that starts things. You are the beginner of things and you know where they are going to end. But now it's up to you to destroy whatever that you are having because of your lack of wisdom and knowledge. But if you can follow God's concepts, you will never fall along the way. Let us stop this thing of saying, I want to defend myself. Allow God to defend you. Allow God to speak for you. Allow God to take you to the next level. Let us stop this thing of saying, I know what I'm doing. You don't know anything. The only thing that can make you to know is when they up there, they know what you're doing. Then everything will prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I ask this side? How do you call your partners? Papa, keep papa ma. When we were growing up, our mothers used to call our fathers Kotsia Chiridzi. Chiridzi ndi nete. Kotsia Chiridzi, Kotsia Joyce. Papa ko Joyce ba livita. Anger. Mara why research and cheese style anyana. Rad no firwa ka sara. Wa khale 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 sela. Oh, we can also change. Let us make our homes to be nice, to have humor. Huh? Obele mu food to come ahaye. Obele mu nati come ahaye. Now I love to create joy in my own house. Yeah, the lady jokes cheating without severe on. Just to make people laugh, and when they laugh, there is joy in the house. Not that we don't meet pains, not that we don't meet discouragement, not that we don't meet things that are not there that will hurt us. We do meet them. But what is it that you do when you meet them? Your response is very important. Hallelujah. 
the way you respond is very important. Response, but in respect. Respond, but in you trying to do it according to the way of God. We are responding. Can you tell the person that is close to you? If you feel like Lilimi Lelahuli Aupala, just sold tape with Zualel. Eh? Just sold tape with Yejo. And you keep quiet. Go and try you, you'll come and tell me. Keeping quiet is the best medicine. Now somebody can come to me and say, Yeah, when I'm Amrut, yeah. Get out bunch. Not for a few long, so long time. I won't tell you names. Somebody came here in the office and tutura, tutura baba office singa, but tutura, tutura. Then they called me and say, Mama, things are bad. This and this and this is going to happen. I said, Okay, don't worry, I'm coming. And I came when I reached here. I said to them, God has given me this day's anointing to talk. I want to speak with this person. So now when I called, I started to explain and I explained, why do you say this? Why do you say this? Why do you say this? What kind of a person are you? Why do you do this kind of things? Uh-uh. The story changed. No, I didn't say that. No, it's these people that are lying against me. I said, no. Don't lie. Speak the truth. These people cannot just come with a story. You are the one who said all these things. Now, when I look at the character and everything that that person say, if I tell you what kind of a person it is, you will say, I know. Whatever that person has spoken does not make him to be suitable for the place where he or she is. In other words, the way the person has spoken has destroyed the foundation of where she is. Most of us sometimes we are younger. So how do you get to the house? Better to go to the house. Nothing will happen. When I first met my husband, he was, you see, my husband is talkative. He's always talking. So we were not like those kind of Christians and he will talk. And he will be very angry. I will just look at him. And he will say to me, you are just look at him, looking at me by this, you big eyes. But I'll just look at him. After some time, he will say, I don't know what will tell him, keep quiet. He will just keep quiet and walk away. And when I go to ask, after some, some time, maybe after 20 minutes, he will just say, I was frightened by the way you were looking at me. Why do I just look? I don't have anything to say. If I am wrong, I am wrong. But let God be the judge. God must speak for me. God must answer for me. There is nothing I can say. If we can have that attitude in our families, I'm telling you we are going far. Even people that are outside are going to learn from us. They are going to learn the way we do things. They are going to learn the way we practice our own things. Why? Because we will be showing the love of God to them. And the love of God will prevail also in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Do you want to change? Amen. When I was speaking, I saw a lot of you who loves talking. We want to pray. Hallelujah. And let me ask Makoti, what my feeling? Who do you, how do you call your husband? Honey, oh my love. Into ya honey, I issue me man. My love, honey. Eh? Mara ya bereka. Mamruti ya bereka tabai. Namu chwaka ke mijor mu chwaka. Leka sonta ke tabaki be ile keke mola ke ngwandilo re mu chwaka. They know. I do always just like that. Mutuanga. It's my notice. Juan. Chivenda. Mutuanga. In other words, I'm saying, Kimutuaka o. Auna mutuan jelangyen. Idula ilijual. So, how do you call your husband? Sarah said, Lord, I believed he saw God in him. 
That's why he called the husband Lord. And how do you call your own? Can you tell the person that is close to you? How do you call your own? What's the way you call your own? You want to tell me? Eh? Mama Lel? My baby is not here. Daddy? Eh, I pay daddy. I want to tell you. I never want to tell you. I want to tell you. Pella, when you say daddy, daddy, in other words, he love our papa. Including me, so I get my own phone. Papa, keep our eyes. Is a color of the edge of the copyright. Could see a tender. Can we learn it? Papa, would not shall a fellow fellow lecturer. Papa, would tender. Daddy, Karekek, our fellow, which are the Durki daddy. Lin nak kerja dedi, ah marasion, eh? Arab buat cerita, kerja buat cerita intercess. Macam, kerja macam, mara orang tu ngukai bincang mar. Tiada sih boleh kerja haja malam hari. Eh? Ma business, lima bincang. Ay, isa ka uto ko pari papa. Pari ki mang wan yan ol. Papa si ite. Iya, nakubwe. Eh, man titi. Mabito na yun. Hey baby. 